concerns you've raised today about the cuts that are the sorry, what the impact of these cuts will be on education? Well, it's time that this government understood what the reality of uh, this situation is. You know, if we're going to lose something like 200 teachers, we're going to see in every classroom, in every school, three additional students. And we need to understand what the impact that is on their learning and uh, the ability of teachers to be able to ensure that the, the outcomes that they achieve are the best possible. When, when the budget was handed down, we heard the government celebrating record spend in health and education. That doesn't seem to match up with what you're telling me. Well, we heard the same statement, didn't we? We, we heard the slogan, if we lift education, we lift Tasmania. Now, I would ask the Treasurer now that as he puts a uh, foot on education, what will that do to Tasmania? What will it do to retention rates by adding an extra three students to each class? Do students often get disengaged? Well, just look at the fact that we're not only are we losing these uh, additional teachers, we're losing 62 staff in the Guaranteeing Futures program, and they are the ones that you were just talking about here who help to engage students and take them through the tough times. And Tasmania is facing difficult times, and we need people on the ground to look after these students. Not, we don't need them taken away. Why can you crunch the numbers and tell us where the job cuts are going and what the impact will be, but the government can't? Well, the government can. It simply won't tell us what, what they are. They know exactly what their numbers will be. Uh, we would estimate something like $14 million out of education, uh, and uh, we can do our sums on that. Um, we can look at the fact that uh, uh, because now we're, talk we're not talking about a 2% cut to people's wages, we're probably talking now definitely about frontline teachers. You're talking to teachers every day. What's the feeling like among the workforce? Well, we're not talking to teachers every day because they've been on holiday for the last fortnight. But we will be talking to them next uh, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We'll be conducting statewide meetings and we'll be asking from them what are their feelings? What do they think about this? How will it affect them to carry out their jobs? And what, what instructions will they be providing to the union? What do you make of this line from the Premier and Treasurer and uh, a number of government ministers that they won't be providing a, a running commentary on budget cuts? Is that fair? Well, it follows the line of uh, Tony Abbott and Christopher Pine. Uh, the Liberal government simply does not want us to have transparency. It does not want to have a discussion. And I thought the Treasurer said it very well when the MLCs instructed him, almost, to go and talk to the unions. And his answer was, people need to understand uh, what I say I mean. You know, I feel that that, that is a, an indication of arrogance, and it is not the way in which a leader should conduct himself. And certainly, if he was talking to me, I would not want to be coming back with the same sort of line, or Tasmania would be in trouble. In terms of Australia, we're already well down the ladder on education. What does this, uh, these changes mean for our future of ever climbing back up? Well, people say we're well down on the ladder. I don't believe that uh, to be the case. I'm an extreme optimist about what goes on in our schools. Um, people put around all sorts of figures. You know, you only need to go to other states at the moment and they are saying much the same things about the cuts to Gonski funding and the like. Um, so I would, I would uh, s stick with that. But I think Tasmania's future is bright, but it won't be bright unless a government continues to talk to the workforce. Now, we are the professionals. Our teachers are the professions. They are in a profession. And they should be asked about what it is that they need and they should be supported. How will parents feel um, with their children having to, I guess, be educated under these constraints? Well, I'd like to think that parents uh, discuss these issues with their schools, and I'm sure that they will. But it, it uh, doesn't take much to understand uh, when you are told that uh, your child is going to receive less support in the classroom. There will be three additional students in that classroom. These schools are, are inclusive. We take all comers and we relish it, and uh, we, we work on high morale, and we work because we work with each other. That's when we do our best. But we expect a government simply to be on the side supporting us. If the government doesn't budge on these measures and, and if these cuts become a reality, can we expect industrial action, teachers walking off the job, etc.? Well, I wouldn't like to think that that would occur, but it could very well, you know, it is a possibility. And that is why we're having the statewide meetings next week, and we will be at Burnie, Devonport, Launceston and Hobart and we'll be trying to get the message out there about uh, what the government is, is doing, uh, its reasons, its intentions, what this means for them, and can the teachers possibly deliver what the government and the community expect of it next year. So for an average classroom, what would three extra students mean? Well, someone said to me um, just the other day, 
Um, recording mid-year, if there's six hours work, straight away just write in the reports. It means that every time that you, you need to talk to a parent, the parent will be waiting outside the door longer or they won't be seeing them until the next day. It means the child that needs the extra help won't be supported and they will leave a classroom disillusioned and disengaged. Uh, it's the sort of thing that we don't want to see in our schools and it's the reason why our, our governments in the past have seen the need to fund need and it's why the Gonski, uh, Gonski uh, funding came into place in the first place. Well, Adam, obviously the union's raising concerns today about extra students in classrooms. What would that mean if you had three extra kids in your classroom? Well, as a teacher, students are my core business and anything that takes uh, time away from individualised learning programs for our kids is, um, is concerning. Uh, for, for me, a lot of my time at the moment in the classroom is spent on administrative tasks, compliance, uh, behaviour management, and so three additional children in my classroom it takes away from the time that I need to be giving my children. Do you think it's something that um, perhaps isn't understood? Just people at home might think three extra kids, that's not that tricky, but it actually does add up. Like Terry was saying, just report writing, that's an extra six hours. Yeah, exactly right. So uh, a mid-year report takes two hours per child, so an extra three children makes an extra six hours of report writing. There's more communication with parents. Um, as I talked about, that compliance and administrative tasks goes up tremendously. And the stress placed on the classrooms that um, aren't designed for large classes uh, and the extra resources and bodies that are needed um, it is yeah, significant. But it's more than, sorry, I say, it's more than obviously just the, the amount of work that gets added to your workload as well. It's, it's kind of about the quality of education that you can actually provide to, to the student. Exactly right. We, we need to be, as teachers, we need to be um, providing individualised um, learning plan programs because we know that children have a broad range of needs. And to be able to do that, we need to be spending one-on-one -on -one time with our children and an extra three children encroaches on that time. We obviously hear lots about how Tasmania um, doesn't perform particularly well when it comes to specific stats in education, that kind of thing. Would something like this only potentially push that further back again? Uh, potentially, because it's, it's taking uh, teachers' time away from speaking with the children and addressing their specific yeah, needs. Can you break it down for us, what uh, grade you teach and, and what um, sort of impact three extra students would have on your classroom in terms of numbers and things like that? So I teach a grade five, six class and I've got 25 in my class now. If that was to go to 28 children um, with the uh, introduction of geography, this year, the, the new curriculum there and uh, new, further ones coming in next year, it just ma makes it very difficult to address children's individual needs. We all know teachers are busy at the best of times. Is it something that would even physically you'd be able to cope with? Well, we're already hearing um, in the workforce of, of teachers taking time out um, to complete report writing and for stress and so certainly it's going to be significant.